What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on NEO ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news related to NEO and to the stock market in general. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point uh, and uh, I've told you that uh, we have uh, very good volume and uh, this movement to the upside uh, was for about 18% and from its lowest point uh, to its highest point it has about 22% of uh, potential profits. So huge movement with uh, very good volume and I've told you that potentially we might have uh, the trend continuation. So, and what was the reason of this movement uh, to the upside? And for now we have uh, this uh, decline in mod uh, for about 11%. And let me show you first of all this one. On January the 3rd we have this article that is titled Neo Xpeng and Li Auto Rally after yearly reports indicate strong demand trend. Chinese electric vehicle stocks are high after deliveries reports for December show strong demand with Xpeng, Neo, and Li Auto, all posting triple digit gains uh, compared to last year. And let me quote you this. Neo reported growth of only 109% year over year to 91,429 vehicles on supply chain issues. Neo blamed the decline in month over month deliveries on the impact of COVID 19 on its supply chain, saying that the sole supplier of A to B pillar interior trim panels for ES6 and EC6 Nanjing Nintao Kangxing stopped production for a period of time, which affected supply. So, on the one hand, it is quite good news, but on the other hand, the growth rate is the lowest among all the Chinese companies. And let me show you the news uh, that uh, negatively affect the entire stock market for now. Uh, we have uh, this article that was published yesterday and it says Dow Jones futures, hawkish Fed stuns Wall Street, Tesla, Microsoft, Google break key levels. And let me quote to this. The stock market rally turned sharply negative Wednesday on hawkish Federal Reserve comments closing at session lows. Treasury yields drove the market action. The 10-year Treasury topped 1.7% for the first time in 9 months following the release of the December Fed meeting minutes. Policymakers signaled that Fed rate hikes could come sooner than expected, as the central bank showed real concern about inflation at the December meeting. At the December meeting, policymakers agreed speed up uh, the bond taper, reducing monthly asset purchases by $30 billion a month. That means new bond buys will end by mid-March, setting the stage for actual Fed tightening. Notably, some members wanted to start reducing the Fed's uh, balance sheet at some point after the first right hike. In fact, many participants uh, judged that uh, the appropriate uh, pace of balance sheet runoff would likely be faster than it was during the previous normalization episode. So, and this news affected in a negative manner the entire market. And uh, if we will take a look uh, on a heat map, we have uh, more red color around the, the S&P 500 uh, companies. But all in all, in my opinion, NEO is quite strong at this point because uh, it lost not more than 4% during this, uh, the latest session. And let me show you the positive news uh, that might affect uh, the NEO price. So, first of all, on uh, cnvpass.com we have this article that is titled Will NEO stock make a comeback in 2022? Deutsche Bank thinks so and lays out a roadmap. And let me quote to this. After a relatively uneventful 2021, NEO will see a product-rich year and Edison News uh, team laid out what they see as the catalyst path for NEO stock in 2022 in their latest note. And let me show you this. ET7 flagship uh, large sedan deliveries begin at the end of March. Unveil new sixth model ES7 SUV in late Q2 or early Q3. New NAD features uh, roll out starting mid-year and it is NEO's automotive driving system. 
ET5 mid-size sedan deliveries begin in September, ET7 available in Germany in September, ES7 SUV deliveries begin in Q4, hybrid solid-state battery available in Q4, mass-market brand update before year-end. And because of this news, the team reiterated its uh, buy rating on NIO and its uh, $70 uh, 12-month price target. So, quite bullish news, and I have to say that all of these events and all of these actions uh, will drastically improve for the fundamentals of the company. Uh, next one, let me show you this. NIO makes major upgrade uh, to its used car business, opens first exclusive showroom. And in my opinion, it is extremely wide decision to open their uh, showroom for the used cars, because uh, in this case NIO can benefit uh, not only from the new vehicles, but also they can benefit one more time from its used cars. So, another good news uh, for the company. And uh, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, first of all, let me show you that uh, according to Elliott Wave theory, potentially we have uh, this from this bottom. Uh, we have this is our first wave, this is our second, this is our third, fourth and fifth. So we completed all five wave structure and with this huge volume, uh, potentially we might have a trend reversal from this lowest point. And uh, let me show you that if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom of this wave to the top of this wave, we already hit uh, the golden pocket range, it is uh, the most probable range of trend reversal. And from this point we have uh, very good chances uh, to make uh, a trend reversal and from this point we might go higher. So, what should you do if you want to enter the position with NIO? As usual, if you want to invest in this company, you should enter your position on a daily red candles. And in this case, uh, these ranges of about uh, 29 to 31 dollars is extremely good uh, entry point for you as an investor. But if you want to catch the trade, for now it is the perfect point to accumulate your position. Because uh, from this range uh, we might go higher and hit much higher targets. And if you want to catch this trade, you should enter your position at this point and put your stop loss slightly below previous swing low. And this means your downside potential will be about uh, 8%, but the upside potential, let me show you, the upside potential for this trade uh, might be up to uh, 47% to this range of about $44. And uh, this uh, swing trade is quite juicy in my opinion and uh, we might uh, hit this target uh, in a matter of a couple of months. And the risk to reward ratio of uh, this setup is 6 to 1 and it is extremely, extremely good risk to reward. So I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!